Welcome back to the tutorial. In this video, we will add reactive database access with Spring Data. Spring Data is a database access framework that support a number of reactive data access options, including reactive Cassandra, reactive MongoDB, reactive Couchbase, and reactive Redis. In this tutorial, I will use MongoDB, make sure you have it installed on your local machine. MongoDB is a cross-platform document-oriented database program. MongoDB uses JSON-like documents with schema that gets persisted and is retrievable by a document ID. Our application will persist product entities using a reactive Spring Data repository as documents in MongoDB. Okay, now we will create MongoDB connection string URI, add database model, add persistence layer, and at the end of this video, we are going to add some data to the database when application start up. Let's get started. Let's create a new package and name it domain. Then create a new class and name it product. This is a product entity class that will be persisted in MongoDB. Next, add some fields to our entity, the document ID, product name, and product price. So, as you can see, document annotation is a MongoDB entity document. Data, all args constructor, and no args constructor annotation is from Lombok library. ID annotation is spring data to identifies the document ID for this document. Now, we are going to create a spring data repository. Let's create a new package and name it repository. Then, create a new interface and name it product repository. and extends our new product repository interface with reactive mongo repository Repository is a way to encapsulating storage, retrieval, and search behavior which emulates a collection of objects. Our repository extends the reactive Mongo repository interface, which provides us a number of data access methods like reads, writes, deletes, and searches. Now, let's create a MongoDB connection string URI, open file name application.properties, that located under folder, resources. We will use this connection string to define a connection between our application and MongoDB.
So, this is standard format of the MongoDB connection URI used to connect to a MongoDB. The standard URI connection scheme has the form, protocol, username, password, host name, port, and database name. Now, we are almost done with the persistence layer configuration, but we also need some sample data in our database. Let's put some data into our database when application starts up. To do so, let's create a new package and name it configuration. And create a new class and name it database initializer in that new package and our new class going to implements application listener.
So, let's look what we have here. On method, on application event, we first delete all record from database, then create a new list of product name, then create product object with random ID and random price, then we save products to database. At the end of the method, we retrieve data from database and print them to console log. Now, let's start our application for the first time. Okay, we seems to have some issue here. Let's have a look. The problem is that we catching the wrong class here. Let's change it from application event to application ready event. Seems to be okay, now. We can see our database was update with some sample data. Now, we are ready with our persistence layer and database connection. Next, we will add a service layer to our project. See you soon.